<sighs> What's good, family? What's good, your boy, Urban Sports Guru? <sighs> Just finished the workout. I'm going to work out. Good money this morning. Sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. I'll be posting more often. But uh, I wanted to hit y'all about this Aaron Rodgers controversy. And let me just explain something to y'all to give y'all some real understanding on this. It's a quarterback's league now. And quarterbacks are held accountable for damn near everything wrong with the football team. And because of that, quarterbacks are not going to allow you to just dick them around. Because they've seen this live in this generation happen to other great quarterbacks, other Hall of Fame worthy quarterbacks, other Super Bowl quarterbacks. This has happened to them. And they've got dicked around by the organizations, good organizations, bad organizations. They've been dicked around. And they end up being the accountable one. They end up being the one that takes the blame. Quarterbacks get all of the adulation when you win, and you get all of the blame when you lose. I'll give y'all a perfect example. Y'all know I'm a diehard Giants fan. My guy, Eli Manning. Now, his last year as a starter, if y'all remember, because y'all know I do, he had a meeting with then, well, now, still currently GM, Dave Gettleman and the Maris. And according to reports, Eli went off. Eli went off on him. What do you think Eli was going off on him about? For the last, what, five or so years? Giving him mediocre talent to play with? Mediocre talent, zero running game, drafting bad offensive linemen after bad offensive linemen? But guess what? Who was held accountable for that? Who was who was the one that was, they wasn't saying the truth like I was saying. People were saying the truth that, okay, look at the talent around him. They wasn't saying that because they did, because you hit gold and you drafted Odell. But what about the Justin Pews? What about the Eric Flowers? What about the Bobby Hearts? What about Ruben Randall? If y'all don't understand exactly the caliber receiver Ruben Randall was, the second he wasn't on his rookie contract with the Giants, he signed with the Eagles and didn't even make the team. Didn't even stay on the team. If that doesn't tell you where he, the kind of talent Eli was playing with, it's not like this guy went somewhere else and thrived. Think about that. It's not like the guy went somewhere else and thrived. No. Victor Cruz. I love me some Victor Cruz. But he was injured. Then when he finally came back, he just wasn't that dude no more. He just wasn't that dude no more. As evidence to that, the following year he signed with Chicago, a team that had no wide receivers, and he couldn't make the team and now and he retired right after that. That should tell you the kind of what Eli was playing with then. That should tell you that. And we've seen this happen with other quarterbacks. And guess what? The quarterback ends up getting the blame for it. Eli got all the adulation when they won. He's getting all the blame when they're losing. And you got quarterbacks now, especially because of what they're getting paid. The fact that Offense is, is so geared toward them. The rules are so geared toward them. They basically got teams by the balls in a lot of in a lot of instances, especially Aaron Rodgers with the Packers. The Packers have a good team. You take Aaron Rodgers off that shit. You take Aaron Rodgers off the Green Bay Packers, they're picking in the top ten next year. I bullshit you not. I like Matt LaFleur. You take Aaron Rodgers away from him, they're picking in the top ten next year. Aaron Rodgers, especially seeing Tom Brady, one of his counterparts, guys on that level, and Tom Brady just be giving every fucking thing he wants. Like a kidney candy store. Give me him. Give me him. Give me him. Oh, yeah, that too. Shit. People talk about LeBron making the team. Shit. Look what Brady did with Tampa. And this is what you got to go up against? And you got a team that's going to draft a fucking replacement? Trade up to draft your replacement in the first round? And you wonder why Aaron Rodgers is salty? Hello? Hello? Quarterbacks are not taking this shit lying down no more. If you're going to give me all the responsibility, you're going to give me all the blame, you're going to give me every fucking thing I ask for. This is why you see even Russell Wilson 
Even wild man and Russell Wilson pitching a bitch. That's why you even see Russell Wilson not taking it. Oh, really? You couldn't make me complain for? No, you better give me every goddamn thing I asked for. And then some. Yeah, I got paid, but guess what? I need this too. I need that. I need this. I need that. Go get Antonio. What? You don't want to get Antonio? Suck my dick. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up quarterbacks are not taking it anymore. And I'm using my guy Eli as an example because guess what? He dealt with some horrible years with my Giants. Through some bad coaches. Through some poor talent. And because of that, his record, his overall record is now 500 or maybe one game under 500. This is going to hurt his Hall of Fame candidacy. Excuse me. These are things that are going to be argued against him when he's trying to get into the Hall of Fame. When in actuality, it's almost like you're going to forget the fact that it's a two-time Super Bowl champion, a two-time Super Bowl MVP. You understand me? It's going to be argued against him when you look at all the stats and yards he's put up. These are things that are going to be argued against him. Instead of you giving him everything that he's asking for. Now, I told you at the beginning of last year, one of the things I noticed with the NFL, good GMing is making a difference. NFL was always a coach's league. And it still is to some degree. But now I think it's a coach slash GM league. I believe that. Because when I looked last year, beginning of last year, it was so evident to me. When I looked at the talent on certain teams, then I looked at the talent on other teams. Because the NFL is any given Sunday. It's any given Sunday, any team could beat someone, and that still will always be the case. But I looked at the talent level, because this is what happens, especially now at the offseason. Right now, what we're doing is evaluating rosters. Divided winning rosters, quarterback, who is best online, D line, who can get after the quarterback, and who can cover on backhand. It's, and, and, and it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's, it's fantasy football. Who has the best fantasy team, and so to speak? The evaluating rosters, the evaluating coaches, and the scheme, and et cetera, et cetera. And when I noticed it last year, and I did a video about it, and I noticed how the good GMs were able to work the cap to work the cap to even have a quarterback who's been paid and still have a plethora of talent at so many key positions not just the skill positions not just the skill positions but to the, in the trenches to be good on both sides in the trenches and have skill position guys have guys who can cover on defense you know <sighs> You know, drafting very well, where you're able to draft starters who are real contributors to the team. You know, you've seen the difference, and the difference was glaring. I mean, glaring. It was night and day. And this in the NFL now is a coach GM league. It's a quarterback, coach, GM. Quarterback, coach, GM. And if all three are not on the same page, you're going to have what you're having now. You're going to have Deshaun Watson pre this nonsense he's going through right now saying, fuck this, I want out of Houston. You're going to have Aaron Rodgers saying, you know what, fuck this, get me out of here. Y'all want to give me my respect? I'm out of here. Facts. You're going to have this kind of shit because quarterback, quarterback is not going to take this shit. Quarterback says, ultimately, the quarterback is going to get the blame. Along that trio, the quarterback is going to get the blame. Now, the coach would be the first to go as far as getting fired. The coach would be the first to go. But the first to get the blame is the quarterback. The quarterback is not standing there taking that shit. They're not taking that L lightly. They're not. They're not taking that. This is why Tom Brady got couldn't wait to get the, couldn't wait to get the fuck out of New England. They probably would have wanted to stay. But Bill Belichick's like, nah, I'm like, oh, you want to do it? I'm out. I'm out. You don't want to cater to me after everything I get it, I given to you? Why? Because there's a four in front of my age? Okay, I'll go over here. That has everything I'm asking for, and they're going to cater to me. So guess what? So if I lose, it's all on me, and I can handle that. Because you've given me everything I've asked for. 
that's the thing with athletes and just most men in general. When you've given them everything they've asked for, and if they still end up taking a the loss, they'll own that. They'll own that. But when you haven't given them everything they've asked for, it's almost like you're working against them, and you st- they still got to take the L for your shortcomings. Nine out of ten athletes could take the L for their own shortcomings. But when you ask someone to take the L for someone else's shortcomings, Aaron Rodgers, fourth down, they didn't even give him the ball. But who gets the blame? Aaron Rodgers. Last year had a had a receiver, had receivers all over. Did they trade up to get one? Did they trade up to get the one, say, in Minnesota, who had what, thirteen hundred yards? Out of LSU, forgive me, I know his name, I can't think of it right now. Did they trade up to get him, Jefferson? No, they trade up and got his replacement. Think about it, that game in, that game against Tampa. Who do you think Jefferson would have been able to do if, with Aaron Rodgers? Instead of him always, Devontae, Devontae, Devontae. What if he had Je- Jefferson? But Aaron Rodgers gets the blame. Quarterback, head coach, GM. Quarterback is the first to blame. Coach will be the first to go. GM will be the last to get fired. Quarterback's not going to take this shit no more. GMs need to start moving accordingly. Because the smart GMs, the smart GMs, they're moving accordingly. They're giving everything for the quarterback. So then it's on you. Like in San Francisco, they gave Jimmy G everything. He was one throw away from the Super Bowl. I remember that Super Bowl. And I remember after that interception he threw in the first half. And I remember seeing Kyle uh, Shanahan literally take the ball in his hands. Like, how the fuck you throw that interception? Completely take the ball in his hands and just started running it down Kansas City's throat. Barely let him throw it because he couldn't trust him. This is why they had these feelings about him now. This is why, even before missing that late game throw, look, rewatch that game and pay attention to that interception he threw in the first half and pay attention to the play calling that happened after that. GM, head coach, quarterback. I'm just saying, it's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.